listeners welcome to the uh, lecture of anagram models uh, now we are going to discuss an example and in this example uh, we will discuss uh, different models of anagram uh, the problem is, is we have uh, this training data and by using this training data we have to compute the probability of this sentence so this is the test sentence and this is the training data are the corpus so first of all we uh, compute the bigram model uh, the probability of this sentence using bigram model and with a simple bigram model without using any smoothing technique the probability of the sentence will be according to the chain rule and the hidden mark assumption uh, it will be the multiplication of these probabilities going given is abroad given going to given abroad and study given to we will multiply all these probabilities and you know going given is means the count of is going divided by the count of is similarly you can do this for the rest of these values and now we see the count of is going in the training data is going appear two times one time here and one time here so the count of is going is two and the word is appeared four times in this training data one two three four so it is four so it becomes two over four similarly uh, the next is abroad given going going abroad appeared one time whereas the word going appeared two times so it became one over two and next is uh, abroad to abroad to the pair of abroad to never appeared in this training data so it will be zero here divided by the word abroad appeared just one time so it will be one here so similarly we do it for this value and now you see that the answer of this computation will be zero because we have zero in this numerator so the answer of uh, this probability is zero if we do not use any smoothing technique and as you know it is not uh, actually possible to have every possible pair in that training data so we will use some smoothing technique to uh, make it make the this value non-zero and one of the technique is Laplace smoothing where we add one in the numerator and vocabulary in the denominator so when we will add one to in two it will become three and we will add vocabulary in the denominator vocabulary means the distinct uh, words in the corpus the distinct word the, the count of distinct words in the corpus is 10 uh, sorry 9 you can uh, uh, count it 1 2 and they have appeared already uh, 3 4 they have appeared already 5 6 7 8 9 so uh, we add vocabulary in the denominator uh, we add uh, 9 here so it, will, it, it became 30 and we add 9 here it will become 11 and 1 in the numerator so it became 2 over 11 and it became 1 over 10 and it became 2 over 10 so uh, you can compute this value it will be the probability by using the Laplace smoothing and now the third technique is uh, using the good Turing algorithm and you know in the good Turing algorithm we try to uh, predict the unseen things by using the least seen things and so uh, we have already discussed it in detail in previous lectures here we are just going to tabulate the values uh, so it means how many pairs appeared one time in the corpus there were total seven pairs which appeared just one times going abroad appeared one time abroad is appeared one time going to appeared one time and so on and there were total two pairs which appeared two times as is he appeared two times and is going appeared two times and there was just one pair which appeared three times as he is appeared three times and he is appeared here it appeared three times uh, 
now we have to see how many pairs never appeared in the corpus so to uh, find those pairs which never appeared in the corpus we will see how many pairs are actually possible from these words we have a total nine distinct words and by using nine words we can make 81 pairs nine words in the first position and nine words in the second position we will get 81 pairs of the words so 81 are total possible pair of the words and we subtract the appear pairs which appeared in this corpus 7 plus 2 plus 1 so 10 were the distinct pairs and unseen so the unseen pairs were 81 minus 10 that was 71 so we wrote 71 here and this is the total seen pair it means we also um, count repetition so 7 pairs plus these four pairs because these two pairs appear two times so it will become four seven plus four plus three because this one pair appeared three times so seven plus four is eleven plus three fourteen so fourteen were the total pairs which appeared in this corpus so now we compute the probability probability uh, by using the uh, normal statistical formula it will be the appeared a value divided by total appeared values as these pairs never appeared so 0 over 40 these pairs appeared seven times this group of pairs so this probably the probability of this group will be 7 over 14 and so for, for this group it will be 4 over 14 and for this group it will be 3 over 14 and as you know according to the formula of the probability the sum of the probabilities will be 1 7 plus over 14 plus 4 over 14 plus 3 over 14 equals 1 but as you know we want that it should the probability for this group of this words pair should not be 0 and to make it non zero we will again compute this c so this is the c and this is the c star and you know this is the formula of c star so by applying this formula we get these values and from these this c star we again compute the probability that is called p star probability of the property using good turing algorithm so we will uh, multiply this c star with this value and divide it by the total appeared pair of words the total uh, appeared pair of words were 14 so 7 over 20 uh, 7 over 71 into 71 it became 7 so 7 over 14 similarly here 4 over 7 into 7 over uh, into 7 it became 4 4 over 14 and so on so we got these probabilities so by using these probabilities we now compute the probability of this sentence it is going go, given is abroad given going to given abroad and study given to so it means we are trying to find the probability of the pair is going is going appeared here and the probability of this pair this group is 3 over 14 using good turing algorithm and 3 over 14 14 is the probability of this whole group so probability of this one pair will be 3 over 14 divided by 2 so it is here and abroad given going going abroad uh, appeared here the probability of this group is 4 over 14 and there are total 7 pairs in this group so probability of this one pair will be 4 over 14 divided by 7 so it is here and next is 2 given abroad I mean abroad 2 abroad 2 uh, didn't appear in the corpus so it lies here in this group and you know the probability of this group whole group is 7 over 14 and there are total 71 pairs in this group so the probability of one pair will be 7 over 14 divided by 71 so it goes here and next the probability of study given to or two study it appears here and it, it is 4 over 14 divided by 7 so you can compute the uh, this whole uh, um, expression so it will be the uh, probability using 
गुड टू एल्पिन थैंक्स